South Africa is a country rich in culture and diversity, and over the years it has produced some of the most influential and popular figures in various fields, from music to politics, sports, and beyond. These figures have left an ineligible mark on the country and the world at large, and their legacies continue to inspire and impact people even after they are no longer with us. One of such figures is Kenan Forbes, known by his stage name, aka the South African rapper and songwriter who was tragically murdered in a shooting incident outside a popular restaurant in Durban. AKA had a massive following both in South Africa and around the world, and his untimely death left many of his fans and admirers in shock and pain. In the aftermath of his passing, many of AKA's fans and supporters have found different ways to pay tribute to the late rapper, and one such tribute caught the attention of social media recently. A diehard fan of AKA got a tattoo of the artist to honor him and keep his memory alive. Photos of the fan's tribute tattoo were shared online, which quickly went viral and sparked conversations. The attribute is about the legacy of AKA and the impact he had on the music scene in South Africa and beyond. The tattoo is just one of the many tributes that AKA has received since his passing. In another news, just a few days after his burial, fans have noticed that AKA's tombstone is missing from his gravesite. This is insane. It got a lot of tongues wagging about what could have happened. Here is why AKA's tombstone was removed. According to the citizen where the speculations of thefts, however, Josh Kent, the operations manager at Authentic Stones, told the publication that the musician's tombstone was not stolen. The family is very much aware that the tombstone was removed after the burial, he said. Kemp further explained that the tombstone was removed to prevent it sinking into the ground. The tombstone was only at the funeral on Saturday for unveiling purposes, hence it was removed afterwards. Once the burial is over, we still need to lay a concrete foundation, then we install the tombstone on the top left of the concrete foundation. Otherwise, if we install the tombstone on Saturday, the tombstone would have sunk, said Kemp. In addition, he explained that different cemeteries have different rules. At the West Park Cemetery, where AKA has been laid to rest, you can't do the installation directly after the funeral and you are not allowed to do installations on Saturdays. So we have to install it during the week where we will lay concrete foundation as the burial is already done. But because the cemetery gave us a special permission to install the tombstone of the late legend immediately, this is why we will install it back again either this week or next week, said Ken. We are also devastated about this great loss to South African entertainment and beyond. Indeed, AKA had a loyal fan base who loved him genuinely. We keep our fingers crossed every day and hope for the best because so many people will continue being restless until AKA's killer is finally apprehended by the police. May his family continue to receive all the support they need to keep pushing. Thank you so much for watching.